Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Tyler. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today, I have a story time because I had an awful experience getting my blood drawn, which I didn't get my blood drawn because these people made me have a panic attack. If I look like I've been crying, it's because I've been crying. Had a panic. Bleh. I had a panic attack. Um, I was freaking hyperventilating and crying in front of these people. Anyways, I'm going to tell you because... Um, this is what I do. I tell freaking stupid stories. Uh, anyways, I went to Quest. If y'all know what Quest is, I went to Quest. Um, first time I went, I did film a video about it. It was awesome. It was great. It really just depends on the people that are there. Um, but this time was awful. First off, um, I got called in. There were two people with my name. So I thought I was the first person and then I was like, oh, never mind. So I sat back down and then they called my name, like actually me. Um, and then this guy walks in and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> this, that's for me. That's for me. Um, and then I'm like, first of all, I went to this with my parent because I can't drive home after I get my blood drawn because what if I can't drive? And then I'm just stuck there with my car. Um, so my parent was like wait that's for blank blank like my full name and the lady who called me in was like yeah and then she's like wait hold on and then she goes and grabs this dude and she's like you can't be here like that's not your name so he was about to get his blood drawn he was in there for probably like two minutes before he came out so he was like full on about to get his blood drawn before she like came out with this dude anyways I go back there and I'm with the lady that called me in. She's like, have you been fasting? Like, did I ask you that before? And I'm like, no, you literally never even spoke to me this whole time. Like you, you never even spoke to me. So no, but I'm fasting. And she's like, okay, so you haven't eaten today, right? And I'm like, nope, I'm fasting. Nope. And she's like, okay, so you haven't had food. You haven't had coffee, you haven't had tea. And I'm like, nope fasting <laughs> um but yeah i didn't give attitude i was just like yeah um anyways she prints out all my paper because i have a lot of blood work apparently and she's printing out all of these stickers i don't know what the stickers are for but she prints out like 20 stickers which i guess is a lot um she prints them out and she's like she sees them all and she's like okay i'm gonna have my associate go and take your blood so I'm in this room. It's room, like, number six, I guess. Um, and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna have my associate take your blood because I'm just, I'm really busy. I have to keep the show running. Sorry if you can hear it raining. It's raining. Um, she's like, I'm gonna have my associate do it. So, um, because I have to keep the show running, like, I'm really busy. We have other people. There's one person besides me, by the way. There's one person. They're closing in 15 minutes, I think. The last appointment is at 11.40, and my appointment was at 11.40, and they close, like, after that. Like, there's no people after me. Um, so, yeah. I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> she's like, I have to do all these people. First of all, there's only one guy in the waiting room to get his blood drawn, and it's getting, he's getting blood drawn by somebody else. It's not this lady, so I don't know what she's doing. Anyways. She's like, okay, you're, my associate's gonna do it. So I get thrown into this other room, room, like, number four. And this lady comes in, and she's like, ah, y'all have been waiting here? We've been waiting there for, like, two minutes. Like, it hasn't been a long time. She's, like, mad. And I'm like, just for a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> and she's like, she should not have done that. She should have told me. And I'm like, yeah. If she didn't tell you, she probably should have told you. I didn't say any of this, by the way. Like, I just woke up. I was tired. Like, I didn't really communicate with these people very much, besides when they ask me questions. Um, she's like, oh my god, like, she should have told me this. Like, she didn't tell me this. I only saw your shoe. That's the only reason why I know that you're here right now. Like, she's mad. She's, like, sighing. She's, like, ugh. She's, like, shaking her head. She's angry. And then she looks at my stickers, and she's like, that's a lot of blood work. And I'm like, you're making me anxious right now. I did not say that, by the way. But, like, you're making me anxious. You're making me feel like that's too much blood. 
like that's bad because I'm, I'm a small person like I don't know like I don't have a lot of blood in my body I don't think but here I am like scared like that scared me a little bit first of all you're coming in here angry like you're upset you're sighing you're like shaking your head at me you're like oh my god like you're upset <laughs> so I don't like I'm already anxious and then you're coming in here like that um yeah so that happens and she's reading all over the thing and I'm in a room where the computer doesn't work because I don't know but basically apparently the computer is supposed to tell you like what tubes to use like how many tubes and what kind of tube to use but the computer doesn't work so she's like you know the seat if y'all have gotten blood work done at like a place I guess you have like a seat and you have this armrest like it goes in front of you and like beside you and like beside you um she's writing on the armrest right in front of me like she's writing on the stickers like what kind of tubes and she's taking forever because she doesn't know what tubes to use I don't know if you're supposed to know that or if like genuinely the computer was broken and like nobody knows that information nobody knows what tubes to use but she's taking forever to like write down what tubes are like for what and she's trying to figure it out and then she goes to like pick the tubes out and she's like oh my god like this is this is so much like i don't know i don't know this is a lot and she like keeps looking at the paper and then looking at the tubes and then she like grabs the tube and then she like puts it back and then she grabs it again like she's so confused <laughs> And she's mad, like she's sighing, she keeps grabbing the stuff, and then she just puts all the paper down, and then she like rests her arms, and then she's like, <sighs> like she's upset. She's upset, girl. She's mad. Um, but yeah, that is happening, and I'm sitting there anxious. I keep looking at my parent, and I'm like, why is somebody calling me? Oh, God. Um, oh no, my music's playing. Stop. Okay. Um, See, now I lost my train of thought. Why is stop calling me? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I turned my Bluetooth off because somebody is deciding to spam call me. So, that's fun. Um, but yeah, she's sighing. She's angry. She's like, this is too much. And then she finally picks out the tubes. And they usually go on like a stand. So that they're like standing straight up. But she just like puts them. Somebody's calling me again. She just puts them on the table. And they're like kind of loose. Like flowing everywhere on the table um and then she like walks out I think I don't remember like what order this went in um but I'm pretty sure she walks out and she's like hold on and she like goes to talk to somebody I guess and then she comes back and she's like okay I guess we're gonna do it um <sighs> like she's so angry um she has the tubes and she's ready and she's like this is a lot of blood work this is this is a lot um and she's like ready somebody's calling me she's ready to stick me with the needle she's like okay she's like ready i guess she didn't tell me to like have my arm out or anything um but my parent is like she's really anxious i think i think the lady asked like am i okay because I, I was looking anxious like i was curled up in a ball first of all it was cold also like i was scared like this lady is like heavily sighing like very angry and she's about to stick me with a needle like i'm not very happy um she's like are you okay and my parent is like she's just really anxious she has like lab phobia um so she just she has to have it in a certain space in my arm i have to get blood drawn in my forearm because i have a phobia of getting it anywhere else i could probably get it in my hand but my veins are kind of small so it's probably better in my forearm um but basically i have to have a butterfly needle because my veins are super small like you can't really tell how small my wrists are um but like you can't really tell like my wrists are small um so i need a butterfly needle or like a normal needle is probably gonna burst my vein open so that's fun um so i'm like yo i need to have it in this part of my forearm and she's like that's gonna hurt and i'm like okay like why would you just say that to me i didn't say that obviously but i was like okay 
why would you say that to somebody that's about to get their blood drawn? Like, that's scary. Like, you don't tell somebody, that's gonna hurt. What? Why are you... There has to be, like, a level of professionalism where you're just, like, you don't say that to somebody. Like, you just don't. You can be like, oh, hey, that's gonna hurt more than, like, your elbow. But you don't tell me outright, like, that's gonna hurt. And she, she was angry, so she had, like, this voice. She was like, that's gonna hurt, sweetie. I think she said sweetie or something after it. But it was, like, condescending and, like, kind of weird. Um, but yeah, that happened. And I was just like, okay. And my parent was like, yeah, we did this last time. It went perfectly fine. Like, my veins are good. I have good veins. You just need to tie a fucking thing around my arm and then you'll see it. It's My vein's not going to pop out right now. You're not going to be able to really see it unless you tie a freaking thing around it and start flicking it. Like, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's... She did that. She was like, uh, I don't know. And then she... I don't remember if she looked around first, but she was like, we don't have any butterfly needles. And I was like, okay. Like, I can't do it. She was like, I can't do it without butterfly needles. So she goes to, like, look around, I guess, before she goes to look and see if they have more. They just didn't have any at, like, that station, I guess. Um, she's like, are you okay? Like, are you anxious? Because my parents said that I was, like, anxious, I guess. Um, she was like, are you okay? Are you queasy? Like, do you need to lay down? And I'm like, I've been sitting here this whole time, and now you care? Like, I'm... What is... There's people screaming. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Um, she's like, are you anxious? Are you queasy? And I'm like, no, I'm... I'm anxious, but, like, I'm fine. Like, I, I just, I have anxiety, you know? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm okay. Um, anyways, she's like, do you want to do the blood test first? You should do the blood test first. Not, sorry, the urine test first. She's like, you should do this first. Just go, go to the bathroom, make sure you're not queasy. I'm like, okay, I can do that. I'm really in my head. I'm like, I just want to get this over with. Like, can we just do this, like, right now? Um, but she's like, yeah go go do this and I'm like okay so I, I grabbed the cup and I'm like where's the bathroom <laughs> and she's like it's that way so I go that way I'm like trying to find the bathroom there's like I couldn't find it so I'm like turning around hello person um I'm like turning around like trying to find it and then I finally find it um I have my pee cup I go back and I'm holding the pee cup and she's whispering to my parent She's like, I can't do this. Like, I can't do it. It's out of my scope. Like, I hear it. She's like, it's out of my scope. Like, it's my profession. And I'm telling you I can't do it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I walk into that. And I'm holding my pee cup. And I'm like, what? What? What's happening right now? And um, my parent is like, you can sit down. And I'm like, okay, I have, I have a pee cup. What do I do with this pee cup? And the the doctor lady I don't know if she's a doctor I don't know um she's like you can you can set that down and I'm looking around I'm like where do I put it like the table has tubes everywhere and there's paper on it you want me to put it on the tubes do you want me to put it on the paper I'm like where <laughs> where do you want me to put it and she's like just put it right there so I put my pee cup on like papers there's no pee on the cup but like I feel weird like why why am I putting this pee cup on the papers I feel weird um and then my parents like, you can sit down. And I'm like, okay. Like, I just heard this lady basically quit. Like, she just said that she couldn't do it. And you want me to sit down? Like, why am I sitting down? Nobody's going to take my blood. Like, I just want to leave right now. <laughs> so I sit down. And the lady's like, yeah, it's out of my scope. Um, um, do you know the cartoon? Dora, the lady with the blue hair. She asked me that. And I'm like, I'm 20 years old. I think she thought I was, like, a child or something. Um, I'm like, I don't... Sure. I don't know. I'm just standing there, like, looking at her. And she's like, yeah, Dora. Dora, she's gonna come take care of you. So not only have I had one person quit on me, I've had two people quit on me. And then I'm getting a third person to do it. Apparently. Um, but she tells me there's no butterfly needles in this entire establishment. 
So basically I can't get my lid drawn because I have to have it done with a butterfly needle, but Dora's going to come in. I guess. I don't know why she's coming in because I just got told that I can't have my blood drawn because there's no butterfly noodles. Anyways, um, Dora doesn't come in. The first lady comes in and she's like, let me see your arm. And I'm like, there's my arm. Um, she didn't, she wasn't nice or anything. She was nice the first time, but, um, she was not nice this time. She was like, can I see your arm? Like, let me see your arm. And I'm like, okay. And she looks at it and then she leaves. She just left the room. Like, she didn't say anything. She just looked at my arm and, like, left. I'm like, what is happening right now? Like, at this point, I'm, like, I'm having, like, the beginning of a panic attack. Like, I'm starting to tear up. Like, I'm starting to not be able to breathe. I'm like, okay. I'm, like, kind of hyperven hyperventilating. So, I'm like, can I just come back? Like, I say that. And I'm like, can I just come back? I just need to come back. And the second lady, the lady that told me she couldn't do it, um, she was like, yes, yes. And then she went behind my parent and gave me a thumbs up. And I'm like, you're pissing me off right now. You're for real pissing me off. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay. Very fucking psycho, psycho. Um... So yeah, I'm like, I w I'm just gonna come back. And my parents like, she's not gonna come back. Like, she's not. She's gonna be too scared now. And I'm like, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna be fine. I'll come back. Um, and the first lady comes in. And she's like, yeah, come back on Monday at 6.30 in the morning. And I'm, and she's like, I'll take care of you. We'll take care of you. And I'm like, I don't want to see y'all ever again. I did not say that, obviously. But I'm like, in my head, like, I don't ever want to see y'all again. I don't. I don't want to see y'all again. I don't want y'all to touch my arm again. I hate you. Um. <laughs> um. Anyways, that happened, and I'm like, okay. Okay. At this point, like, I want to get out. Like, I'm hyperventilating. Like, I'm crying at this point. I'm like, okay. Like, I want to leave. I'm standing in this hallway. Um. Because they were all like, okay. You can come back. And then she stops me, and she's like, come back on Monday. And I'm like, okay. Like, I just want to fucking leave. I want to leave. I want to leave. <laughs> I'm crying right now. Like, let me leave. Um, and I'm like, okay, okay. And they just keep talking. And she's like, oh, maybe we can find a butterfly needle. Maybe we'll find it. We're going to look for it. And I'm like, no, like, I need to leave. Like, I need to go. So there's this chair in the hallway. And I sit on the chair because I'm, I'm about to pass out. Like, I'm crying. I'm hyperventilating. Like, you can see it. You can hear me hyperventilating. You can see me. Like, I'm not breathing properly. So I'm sitting in this hallway, and everybody's talking to me. Because they're all like, just come back. We'll come back. And then the other person's like, we're going to find a butterfly needle. We'll do it right now. We'll take care of it. And I'm like, I want to leave, bro. Like, y'all were so unprofessional. Like, what? No, we're not doing this right now. I told you I'm leaving. I am told you I'm going to go. I'm going to come back. Like, whatever. Like, bye let me go um and then the guy comes out and he's like who needed help who needed help like what's what's going on and then she's like some lady in the back I don't even know if I knew who the person was because I don't think I interacted with her at all but she's like them over there and he's coming over and he's like oh it's gonna be okay we're gonna take care of you we'll f figure it out you can come back Monday for sure like we'll I'll take care of you and I'm like okay okay like hello um okay like fine we'll do that i hate when people like look into my car it's weird um like we'll take care of you and i'm like i don't like just let me go and then he goes in the back again and he finds a butterfly needle i've had like three people maybe two two people tell me that there were no butterfly needles in this entire place and that they were literally unable to take my blood but then this guy he spends a second in the back and he finds one and he brings it out and he's like look 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 we can do it right now well come on come on come on you can lay down like come on and i'm like no i'm just shaking my head like no i'm hyperventilating i'm sobbing in this hallway on the in this chair and they're like come on come on and I'm like no I'm leaving, homie. I'm going. Like, y'all treated me like shit. There's no way. No. Um. So, yeah. I'm like, no. No. 
absolutely not. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he was like, again, like, come back, just come back on Monday. And then Dora comes out. She comes out of like this back room. I think she was helping the, the guy that was, he went in for my name. Um, she was done with the guy, the guy left. Um, and then Dora comes out, this lady with blue hair, I guess. I don't does Dora have blue hair now? Like, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, but she comes out and she's like, are you ready? And I'm like, no, like I'm sobbing, hyperventilating in the hallway on this random chair. And there's like five people surrounding me. <laughs> like, no, I'm not ready. I'm leaving. Like I'm going, I'm going home now. Like this is too much. So yeah, I'm like, no. And she's like, what? And I'm like, no. And she's like, okay. And then she like leaves. And then everybody's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. What is my life? Literally, what is my life? What? I had the first lady. Oh, he's gonna get right next to my car. The first lady, she quit on me because she saw all the blood work. And she was like, I don't want to do it. Um, she didn't even, like, look at my veins or anything, and then was like, no, I can't do it, because you have small veins. Like, she was just straight up, like, because I having, like, a freaking truck party. There's a truck right there, there's a truck right there, there's another truck over there, I don't know. Um, but she quit on me. She didn't even look at my veins. She just saw all the blood work, and she was like, no. So she threw me off to another person, whose computer didn't even work, and then she didn't even know what was going on she didn't know what tubes to use or like anything and then she didn't have a butterfly needle and then she didn't want to do it in my forearm she said she could not do it in my forearm because it's out of her scope of expertise i guess which by the way if you can't take blood in a forearm do you really know what you're doing I don't know. I can understand, like, being a beginner. But she was, like, probably 50 years old. Like, I'm sure she has been doing it for a while. She just didn't want to do it. Um, because she didn't even, like, tie a thing on my arm and look at it or anything. She just looked at my arm and was like, no. And I'm like, oh, fucking okay. Whatever. What is this truck party? They're just hanging out in the back of the truck, like, talking. I hope you can't hear them talking because it's kind of loud. Um... But yeah, she, she was so unprofessional. The second lady, she just did not, she didn't want to do it in my arm. She didn't want to do that many tubes. She didn't want to do it, period. Like, I think she was like trying to go home because she didn't want to have another person. Um, I don't think she was supposed to help me because again, the lady like literally quit and then she threw me to another person. Um, and then I got thrown to a third lady, um, who didn't even show up until like, I was leaving. <laughs> um, they didn't have butterfly needles. Which, they did have butterfly needles. But they just told me that they didn't. Probably because they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to take my blood. Because it's too much work, I guess. Um, so they lied to me about that. Um, and then the first lady came back. And she, like, quit again. Like, oh. I don't know what happened, dude. Like, I'm... And then the guy, he was going to take my blood at the end when I was, like, leaving. He was like, come on, we'll do it. So I had four people. <laughs> the fourth guy. I didn't even talk to him. Like, I was ready to leave. So, actually, the third and fourth people didn't even see my arm. Because I was in the hallway. Like, why are you taking a video of me? weird men are so weird oh okay anyways they didn't even see my arm but i was like leaving at that point then they wanted to try to like help me men are so weird Ew. um yeah that was frustrating and i have to go back next week so we'll see how that goes i don't oh Okay, I forgot this, but they didn't work there. They told me that they were from, all of them were from another location, and all of them got transferred there for the day, 
and none of them knew where anything was. So, they told me that. Which, I, w I would not say that to a patient that's about to get stuck with the needle in their arm, because that just makes them anxious and scared, because you don't know where anything is. So, they told me that as well. Um, bro, the whole thing was like a mess. Like, if I go back and I see one of those people again, especially the second lady. The second lady freaked me the fuck out. Because she was, she was just mean. Like, she was angry the whole time. She told me, like, she couldn't do it. I don't know. If I see one of those people again, I'm probably going to want to leave and, like, not do it at all. Because they scared me. I have a phobia. And, like, the first time went so good. It was so easy, it was so fast, like, it didn't hurt very much. And then this time, it's like, oh my god, like, people, what is wrong with people? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all next week, and, I don't know. Dude, I'm, I'm tired. I wanna go home. I'm going home. So good night. <laughs> I'll see y'all next week. Or the week after that. Probably the week after that. Because my upload schedule is every other week. But. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll see y'all next video. Bye.